Hi, welcome back to System Foundations. Today we're going to download Android. So we're actually going to install an Android virtual machine inside of VirtualBox, and I'm going to walk you through that process from start to finish. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the very first thing we need to do is go over to fosshub.com slash android x86.html. I will copy this link right here. In fact, we're going to go copy and I'll pop that in the description of the video so that you can get over to it. Now that we're going to download the very first one, the x86 64-bit ISO file. So once we download that, remember where you download it, we're going to install it in VirtualBox. All right, just click it to download it and it comes up with this ISO. We're going to go ahead and say, yes, yeah, save that thing. So it should save it in our downloads folder. It may take a little bit to download. It looks like it's gonna take it about 30 seconds or so to download on my computer. So we'll come back once it's downloaded. Okay, we're about done, so it's almost downloaded. And as soon as it's down, there we go. Let's go ahead and start up VirtualBox and build out an Android machine. So I'm gonna go ahead and start VirtualBox. You know how to start the app, so let's go ahead and start VirtualBox. <clears throat> here we go. So we bring up VirtualBox here. In our system foundations group, if we want to put it in system foundations there, we can click that and we can go over and choose file and we're going to choose just as we did before. We're going to, I'm sorry, we'll choose system foundations, details, and inside system foundations, when you go to details there on one of your machines, I was in snapshot view. Uh, go over to details and then go over and we're going to click new. So we click new and we'll go ahead and call this uh, Android. Sure, that directory is fine. It's going to be Linux. It's an other operating system. Oracle 64-bit. Well, it's a 64-bit operating system. So we're going to go ahead and choose a Debian 64-bit on this one. Okay, for the memory size, as much memory as you can comfortably give it. Comfortably give it. I'm going to give it 4096 meg, and I'll go from there. So next, create a virtual hard disk. I'm going to say, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. All of the next, next, nexts. I'm going to make it 48 gigabyte. We won't be using that, but there we go. It's dynamically allocated, so it only uses as much as it needs. All right, so we created that Android image there and go to settings. Inside of settings, I'll go ahead and look at some of these. Now, this is the first time installing Android this year. So my first time installing Android this year on a, inside of VirtualBox. We're going to see if we run into any problems, and I'm going to try to give you the full experience as we go through installing this operating system so you can see what it's like to go download the operating system and if we need to troubleshoot it along the way we'll do that too so let's go ahead and look at this now the shared clipboard probably not going to be using that so the system over here i'm going to say no floppy the processor i got one cpu i'm going to go ahead and say uh, i'm going to bump that up to four cpus uh, if you want to just give it two let's just drop it down to two for anybody who wants to give it two the display i'm going to give as much ram as i can right there 128 meg <clears throat> and storage here, where we've got this empty slot, I'm going to go ahead and select the machine that I just downloaded. Okay, we've pulled down that, that ISO now, so we've got the Android XA6 ISO from the drop-down list there. Go over and click our controller. Now, I'm going to say use host IO cache on this SATA controller, the SATA right there. And on the Android, I'm going to say it's a solid-state drive. On audio, sure, we'll enable that. Networking. In this case, it's going to be a little different configuration than most of our machines. I'm going to go ahead and say, yeah, let's go ahead and do a NAT network on that first interface. And that's all I'm going to do. Serial ports, not going to enable that. USB, go ahead and choose USB 3.0. And then shared folders and everything else we're going to leave the way it is. There we go. Now we're going to see if this will actually boot. We've just created a virtual machine for the Android operating system. We're going to see what happens when we try to power it on. So over there, it's got Live CD, Run Android XA6 without installation, and then you got installation. Well, let's go ahead and try to run it, and we'll see what kind of problems we run into when we run it. It may even give us an option for installation inside the Run menu, inside the Live CD menu. Okay, looks like that's all it gives us is uh, 
try things like start X. I'll see what comes up there. No graphical interface. I'm gonna go ahead and choose install. Let's reset, so hit right control R for reset, and then reset that machine. And this time when it comes up, I'm gonna go ahead and say, yeah, 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 let's do installation. <clears throat> Over here, I'll choose create, modify partitions. Do you wanna use GPT? Sure. It says warning, non-GPT or damage disk detected. Press A, continue. There we go. That free space. I'm just getting enter, enter, enter here. All right, there we go. Now I'm gonna choose quit. I use GPT, what is this? Oh, I didn't write it. All right, I'll do it again. So new, enter, 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 enter there. Now, oops, let's go over and write. Yes, it's gonna destroy information on our virtual disk, yes. Our brand new unused virtual disk. Okay, so now we've we've written that and go over and that's the drive SDA1. And I'll say ext4 is what we're gonna use. Yeah, 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 let's format that, go for it. So we're gonna go through and, and install Android at this point. Maybe it'll give us a graphical interface. Maybe this one doesn't have a graphical interface. Do you install the bootloader? Absolutely, yes. Yes. Now, it says that it's uh, a GPT, it wants to convert it to MBR, that may be a problem for us. And let's say yes. So we may need to, ch to choose uh, MS-DOS format instead of GPT in the near future. Okay, we're almost there. I'll choose reboot, let's see what happens. Running Android may be a better option, but we're gonna reboot and see what happens. Okay, in this case, it's come up with that live CD menu again. That whole thing right there. So I'm going to go over and, and choose devices, and I'm going to remove that disk from the virtual drive. So I'm removing the installation disk that we used earlier, and I'm going to reset this machine. Once again, it's right control R for reset, and I'll say, yeah, reset. Now I do not have the CD loaded. Let's see what happens. All right, I have a couple options there with Android. Maybe it'll boot up. Alrighty, it says it's detecting, it found it, and we have a console. So once again, Android's not giving us a graphical interface right here. They're just giving us a console. Let's see if we can get that GUI up and running. Okay, so since we're still up and running, I'm gonna go ahead and try to, I'm gonna to try to shut this machine down. So let me grab that Android. In this case, I'll do a shutdown dash H now. See if that, if see if it understands it. It doesn't, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit a control R and I'm gonna reset this machine. Actually, I'm gonna shut down this machine, so cancel that. So that the X up here, it says send a shutdown signal. Yeah, let's do that. We'll see if it even acknowledges shutdown signals. If it doesn't, we'll just power that thing off. So next, power off the machine. The machine's gone now. So this is the troubleshooting process that I'm actually walking through live with you right now. So Android right here, we have settings. Let's play with our video, see if that's it. So let's go to display, VM SVGA, let's do VBox VGA, wait, wait, VBox SVGA. I don't know, VBox VB, VGA, enable acceleration, maybe two day, we'll see. What no, it doesn't like that. Okay, we'll do 3D acceleration and choose OK. Start it back up again. Okay, once again, we're at the screen where it says, hey, I'm gonna boot Android. So we're gonna see if it actually boots up this time. Play with the options a little bit. Give it a second. Oh, ah, look at that. So we do have something this time. It is starting Android. 
And I think that's going to be it. So we are done as soon as this video gets, this uh, Android gets up and running. Uh, this is the first boot. However, I, yep, now I'm seeing hard disk activity. Down the bottom down here, if you can see that little disk at the bottom, wherever it turns red, that means it's writing information and green means it's reading information. So here you are. You're now at your Android screen. We can walk through it. We can set it up together if you want to. Just like start. Uh, we can join Wi-Fi networks or skip that. I'll go ahead and skip it for now. Feel free to join your Wi-Fi network if you want to. Choose next. I'm going to allow everything. Yep, yeah, more. And we'll go ahead and accept. I'm not going to protect my tablet. Skip. It's not a tablet. It's a virtual machine. <laughs> All right. Select the home app. We have quick step or task bar. So at this uh, quick step, if we just see this just once and we'll see what it looks like just once. And we've got our applications here and we have the Google Play Store and, and a couple of apps that we can uh, we may be able to, to, to use these now. Of course, I did not configure my Wi-Fi. So if we, yeah, give all kinds of stuff. I'm going to say no thanks right now. Didn't configure Wi-Fi, so all this stuff is not going to work very well. Uh, but there you go. That's Android. So for those of you who are thinking, how do you install Android on your system? There you go. That's how you get a, a version of Android running on your computer. This would have internet access had we configured uh, the network there. So we'll need to go through and, uh, and set up a network. The Wi-Fi, this uh, whole connect to Wi-Fi thing, I'm going to have to see you get around that because uh, how are you possibly going to connect to Wi-Fi here? So we'll say virtual Wi-Fi. You can finish setting up your virtual box soon. It's still writing. You see the bunch of red down there, the drive. Okay, there we go. And start. And I chose that virtual Wi-Fi. This may be two years since I've installed Android. So it's kind of a, you know, it's kind of fun. And I'm going to say right here, don't copy anything. If you want to go through this, I'm just doing setup now. So if you want to go through that, feel free. Uh, we may be looking at another video of Android where I walk through how to set up Android, get it running, have everything connected, and we'll do that in a little, uh, maybe um, a little more of a comparison view on that. But this is it. So once you get your uh, Android up and running, then you're good to go. We'll do a, uh, a screenshot, the little thing we do with that. And that will be all, and that'll be due uh, the next Saturday. Hope everything is going well for you, and I, I look forward to seeing you again in the near future.